All right, so today is our last day in Miami and I'm feeling a little sad, but also uh, homesick because there's too much going on and I'd just rather be home right now. So at this point, I honestly just want to get home because this trip has been way too stressful. It was supposed to be fun. We're all supposed to have a good time, but honestly, we literally want to kill each other. I don't understand why you're getting mad. So much for a girl's trip. Kind of disgusting. I am. Well, I mean, it's not like she was the one that was dancing in the DJ booth with the twins while she has a boyfriend. I said, shut up. Well, it's not my fault you were hanging out with some randoms. And guess who we're missing? Oh, Shani! So the girls are out right now, and they went out without me. Yeah, there is no way to reach her because she left her phone, so we're like, whatever, we're not we gonna wait up. We stopped off our plan. Yeah, so we're like, we're not gonna wait for her, and we're just gonna have fun. Have fun. So um, right now, Iram and I have been having like weird vibes right now. I want to talk to Iram one-on-one, -on -one, you know, just turn eye, kind of clear the air right now, because I feel like there's some stuff that hasn't been said or like some little shade that she's been throwing my way. So I just want to see like, what's up? So today we are going jetpacking and I'm seriously so excited because I always see a bunch of people do this. Um, but I'm not yeah. going jetpacking because of my tattoo and I can't touch water. Gotta heal. Yeah. Gotta heal. So that's the plan. Now, how are you feeling? I'm so nervous. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall, but I'm excited to learn. Me too. I'm scared. I, you're super scared. I don't yeah. know about this one, bro. Yeah. So I don't know. High, so I'm yeah. really excited. Lead the way. That's cute. I wanted to tell you, I don't know, to be honest, like, I don't want to leave. Like, I don't want to go back home. Like, I liked it here a lot. Yeah, the trip was really fun, but I don't know, I just feel like the drama between Shani and I around, like, I kind of feel bad. Why do you feel bad? Well, you remember the meet and greet that I, like, posted about? Mm -hmm. The message you guys about? My intentions were really, really good, like, I promise. And Shani and I ram kind of thought that I was trying to make money off of it, and that really wasn't my thing. So Shani and I ram kind of got really upset about that, and it was, like, very, very sticky. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, I put a lot of work into it, like, before I had gone to you guys. I was, like, okay about it because you're my friend, but then I viewed the perspective in a professional way because I didn't know if you were coming off that way, like, if you wanted to be professional, and I think the other girls thought maybe, oh, now we're old enough to be a little bit more professional. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why the whole, like, drama got kind of intensified. My whole thing was that like, it was something totally nice that I was trying to do, and then they had told me yes. That's where I got upset, because once I told them yes, and I posted about it, everyone like was texting me like, no, I don't wanna do it anymore, and I was like, what the heck? Like, what am I gonna do? Do this meet and greet by myself? Mm -hmm. And it just went to complete crap. And I was like, I, how did I go from like trying to do something nice to being like bitter? Like, I didn't even want to do it anymore. And that kind of pissed me off, because I was like, I worked so freaking hard on this and then now they're gonna be bitchy about it. So then um, that's when I was like, all right, f it, like I'm upset about this. Cool. 
Who even are you these days? I'm not even sure. That's not fair, Rem. I mean, yeah, we've grown apart and stuff. Like, yeah, we've lost touch and everything. You're just, you're just not the Shady I remember. Iram, you don't understand. I have more responsibilities right now. I grew up, I'm in college, everything's different. I have new friends. I mean, is our friendship even worth saving anymore? Before this trip has, had started, I was still pretty upset about everything that had happened. So then I tried to like cause drama and problems between Shani and Iram. Can you believe Shani? What? It's just like Ram. She thinks you've changed. Like she always says, Shani's so full of herself. You should hear what she says about you. I didn't intend for it to be this bad and now there's so much drama and I feel really bad. I mean, maybe we were just lucky to have what we did. Everything comes to an end. You don't even answer your phone anymore, not even for me. And like, you just look so desperate chasing my brother around. Iram, it's not even like that, okay? But what about you? You've changed so much. You're over here acting like you're my mom, but you're not. You're supposed to be my friend. I'm sorry you require adult supervision 24-7. Honestly, you're you're a human. We're all people. Everybody f***s up. We have emotions. You reacted on your emotions, on what you felt. But it might have been a little wrong because, you know, we're like sisters. Like, it, it hurts, and it doesn't just affect them. It, it affects us. People choose sides, and like, that's the bad part about it, because it, it'll separate all of us. But I don't know, I just, I feel like maybe to help fix them, like you have to fix you. I just wanna thank you because like, anytime there's like an issue in my life, like I feel like I can always go to you and you're always there to give me really good advice and I really, really appreciate it. I wanna thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. We'll be fine, we'll all be you. friends together. Oh, what's up? How are ya? Just chilling about you. Nothing. But I was actually thinking that, I mean, I guess we could take that selfie. Oh, all right, I'm down. <laughs> let's do it. I guess you could tag me. <laughs> OK, let's oh, do I it. take good ones. Whoa. What? Sorry. I actually um, have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? He was on that, like, you saw on FaceTime. Oh, <laughs> my bad, I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. And no, no, it's fine. Um, yeah, like, he was, like, really mad about that FaceTime call, too. Oh. Like, he didn't know you guys were here and stuff. And I, I wish like, you told me sooner. I, I mean, I would have never done that. I'm it's all good, but yeah, like, we've been finding a lot about it, and it's just been, like, a really big deal, but I really do appreciate you guys, like, hanging out with us, and, like, even though it wasn't, like, what I expected, um, I still had a lot of fun, so thank you. No problem, at least you had fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I did too, it was awesome hanging out with you guys. Yeah, so like hopefully you were like able to keep in touch and stuff. Like... Well, I already follow you, so just follow me back. Okay, I will, <laughs> I will. But whenever you're in LA, just know you have a couple friends out there so you can hang out with us. And... All right, yeah, just hit it. me up, okay? I got you. Um, But just don't post the one of you kissing me, please. Oh, I'll delete it, don't worry. Got it, thank you. <laughs> I don't know where to start, what the... Oh my god. Hey. Hey. What's up? Yeah, I'm stressing out. I do not want to pack this Yeah, anymore. that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> nah, but for real, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah, anything keeping me from packing. All right, Please. Cool. <laughs> Hey dude, you, you seem a little off, you okay? What's yeah, going on? I feel a little off. 
Uh, nah, man, I just had a fight with Iram right now. It was what? Like, it was so bad. Why? It was just this trip. Like, we have been building up to that fight, I guess you can say. She would throw, like, mad shade all the time. I didn't think she meant it. I mean, we were all so good. Yeah. She made me realize a lot of stuff, too. Like what? Like, uh... What? I hate talking about this so much. You need to talk to me, I'm right here. Okay, um, about... I hate even say... I hate saying his name. Uh, about Xavier. And how... You know, she said um, how, like, I've been kind of, like, chasing him and I look desperate. On this oh, wow. Trip. Right, and it hurt. Like, oh, I started to cry. I wanted oh, to cry. Man. Like, I didn't, like think I was. I thought I was just being like a friend or something. Yeah. I got to know Xavier a lot more in this trip and um, I realized that he's just no good for me, bro. And um, we were like talking and he said he's very cold hearted. What do you mean by that? With his whole breakup with Raquel. He broke up with her and he didn't even care. And that's the thing. Like, do I like, really need that, yeah, you know? Exactly. Someone that's like, doesn't care, you know? Cause, you know, I care, I care a lot. Of course, no, we all and, know that you Yeah, care. and we don't, I mean, personally, I don't want to end up with someone that doesn't care. Exactly. Uh, obviously, you know that I've liked Xavier for a long time oh, yeah. now. And, you know, he was, he was my first date. He was literally my first everything. Yeah, no, yeah. So I guess like letting him go hurts. Of course. You know, uh, I've always wanted to be the one that was um, his first, you know? Yeah. I'm never going to be his first choice. And that's the sad truth. You don't make me cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> Me either. I want to start crying. I don't know, man. I, I... No, look, as bad as this sounds, it's gonna hurt, but it's better letting go now because you're gonna hurt yourself a lot more later on. <laughs> Imagine, like, giving him the try and, like, that's really unhealthy for you, you know? I don't know, man, that's been bugging me. And it's sad to say that, like, yeah, it's like a learning moment. Yeah. And it sucks because, like, it's your heart. It's your heart. Like, you thought you were doing what it was telling you, but it was completely wrong. I know, man. And it sucks that this trip was supposed to be something, like, super great. Mm -hmm. But it taught you a lesson, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like uh, something that I wanted but never got, you know? I know. It, it was more of, like, Something that you like dreamt about. But yeah. sometimes that's the worst. Yeah. And so many people wanted it too. I know, and that's what sucks. And you wish that you could give that. Yeah. I think it's for the best, dude. Yeah. Can you give that love to yourself, all right? You give that love to yourself. Come <laughs> here. I love you so much. Please remember that. Don't ever forget, okay? Yeah. Your principal come. Oh, winter's posters. Yard sale. Oh, it says I ram. Wait. Will you go? Oh my gosh. To. Oh my god! Wait, that's actually really cute! Thanks for watching Life After Quince. If you want to watch more videos, subscribe to Awesomeness TV.